Hi, welcome to the Mobile Tide demonstration. Uh, for those of you who don't know what Mobile Tide is, it's a mobile based application that once downloaded onto your phone will give you the tide times for just about any location around the world. Um, it will then also go on to predict tide times for just about, well, for any date that you choose. Um, I'll just do a quick demonstration of how you download it onto your phone. Um, it does vary between different handsets, but generally uh, you'll go onto either the website, mobiletide.co.uk, or you can type in and text TIDE, T-I-D-E, to 630. Um, either way, you'll receive a text, a WAP push text. Um, so you need to make sure your phone is WAP enabled. That text will come through. On a Sony Ericsson, my phone, you will need to press the Go To button. And again, that does vary on different handsets, but there's normally a, an activation button, as it were. So I'll click Go To. The WAP push is then instigated. Download media, and it's about 64K mobile tide. So it's not too big. It's uh, quite a small application. Uh, your, your normal photograph will be about 150k that kind of thing um, d again depending on handset it will ask you to save it in a in different locations but on mine it's games or applications so I'll select games so there you go that's the application on the phone so it's fairly straightforward um, fairly easy to do. Once the, once the application is on your phone you can um, I'll do a quick demonstration on how you can use it. Uh, My Locations is a list of your favourite locations so you can start to populate ones that are just specific to you. Um, to do that you add a location. You can add from the global database that's now stored on your phone so I'll click UK as that's where I am and I'll also select Perimporth because that's where I currently am and that's my home at beach. So select Perimporth, OK. Now that's saved in my locations, yeah. Select Perimporth and that's effectively giving me the, the state of the tide at Perimporth right now which is showing it to be high tide which, which it is. Um, the bar on the right gives an indication of the hours that remain until high and low water so it's just gone past high tide because we've now got five and a bit, nearly six hours till low water. Um, you can then predict by scrolling along the bottom, you've got the date, today's day, the month and year, you can select any month, year or date uh, and know what the tide's doing. You can also adjust the time by the minute or hour um, so you can actually find exactly high tide by scrolling through the, scrolling through the minutes and hours. There you go. So on the 30th, 09, 2009, high tide at Perimpals, around about half two. Um, so that's how mobile tide works. Um, the other features are if you if you have a location that's not on the global database, you can create your own location. Again, you just need to put a high tide date, ideally a full moon, because then mobile tide's more accurate across a lunar day a month. So if you collect, select a full moon date, just put in a high tide time on that date and give it a name and save. I won't I won't do it here, but that will then add that location to your list of favourite locations. So you can start building up your own database of locations that's unique to you. Other features include a moon phase to give you an idea of tidal heights. Um, obviously if it's a full spring tide then it's going to be a large tide if it's a, a, a neap tide then it's going to be a, a fairly small tide um, so that's an indication again you've got full prediction so you can select any date and know that what the tide height is going to be uh, another feature weather and sea stats we've put on a list of, of recognized and, and um, accepted websites that uh, you can go on to and, that, and they'll give you an indication of the sort of wider forecast of swell swell predictions and weather and that kind of thing and, and, and wind so all the information is there should you need it